is a chemical that I am very much a fan of, aqua regia or royal water. So aqua regia is a three to one mixture of two very spicy strong acids, hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. And if you've taken chemistry, you know that strong acids are spicy in general. So the mixture of these two are very interesting. Now aqua regia is named as such because it's one of the few things that can dissolve like precious metals such as gold and platinum. Since gold and platinum and other similar precious metals are pretty non-reactive, it does kind of take a lot to damage them in such a way, so that's kind of what makes aqua regia so interesting. In addition to just being pretty cool itself, aqua regia does have some actual purposes. It can be used to clean off glassware if there's like gold or platinum or what have you residue that is stuck to the glassware and can't be cleaned off normally through something like perhaps electrolysis where that got plated onto some glassware and you don't really want it there, aqua regia can pretty easily dissolve the gold or platinum or whatever and leave the glass pretty clean. It can also be used for refining and purifying gold because it doesn't dissolve all metals impurities. It has limitations. It is very good at dissolving precious metals, but not all metals. So if you have impure gold and you want to get it purified, then you can apply aqua regia. The gold will dissolve and not all of the impurities will dissolve. So you're left with a more pure gold solution with the rest of the stuff still solid in it. And here's an important note about the use of aqua regia to purify gold is that the reaction is completely reversible. So during the actual dissolving of the gold or platinum, the gold atoms bind with the chloride atoms from the hydrochloric acid to make gold chloride. So it goes from being Au, gold, and HCl hydrochloric acid to AUCl, which is gold chloride. And that is just kind of suspended in the rest of the solution. Now, in order to remove the gold atoms from the gold chloride and turn it back into regular solid gold, you just add a reducing agent, which is a bunch of chemistry stuff that I don't wanna go into. You add the reducing agent, the reducing agent takes that chlorine away from the gold and it turns the gold back into its solid form, which can then be extracted and used for whatever you want to. So I just think that this is a very cool chemical with some very cool uses.